Welcome viewers to another video today We'll be talking about Dark Souls <sighs> Dark Souls is one of my favourite franchises And I know this is a little odd But I will carry on my Fallout lore videos Just taking a small break from it Anyway Let's begin Introduction So There's a character we seem to know a lot about and close to nothing about. Our good and humble friend, Solaire of Astora. But to know our Sunlight Warrior, we first need to know his place of origin, Astora. The Kingdom of Astora is a land full of honourable knights and chivalry. But we never play in Astora, in the games. But a lot of characters come from Astora. They tend to be very nice and respectful. But there are exceptions, but we will not get into that today. The kingdom was probably led by a king and his noble and his nobles, who were probably a part of a noble family advised the king and help, helped him in battle. Like the most kingdoms... Like most kingdoms in our real world. Hmm. The biggest... Um, the king... The kingdom relied on the king to make the big decisions. The nobles to carry them out and the knights and foot soldiers to defend and expand the kingdom. I think the kingdom of Astora has a lots of uh, counties, and I think these counties are led by a noble family, and their job is to provide foot soldiers and knights, and to collect taxes for the king. And if this is true, then there needs, uh, then there needs to be a royal family that ha that holds the king and queen position. <laughs> I'm not one hundred percent sure, but I think a store is located south of Lordran, and it seems that the store is very wealthy because of its great craftsmanship and weapons, as most of the weapons are from Astora. Now. So, now we know a little bit more about his place of origin. We can get into his story. Or a little bit about him. We first need to start with his name, Solaire. In the old European culture, Sol is the name of our sun, of our star, our sun. How fitting is that? For a sunlight warrior. Solar follows the sunlight religion made by Gwyn. <sighs> Solar says in Dark Souls 1 that he wants to make his own sun. But we'll get into that in a little bit. His armor and shield. The first thing I want to bring up is the symbol of the sun on his chest plate and on his shield. It's most commonly thought that Solaire painted this symbol by himself and that he came up with it. But only half of that is true. The large holy symbol of the sun, while powerless, was painted by Solaire himself. Solaire's incredible power must have come from rigorous training alone. Because his armor didn't contain any special abilities like lightning infused or whatever. So Solaire is a um, very so Solaire is very skilled in combat. Solaire wanted to make his own sun. He wanted to be like the sun, powerful and wise. We will see more of this later on. So Solaire. Uh, Solaire followed the same path 
as the chosen undead. The chosen undead wanted to become immensely powerful, and Soler and Soler is uh, even a little skeptical of his own plans. When he says this as a oh, wait, hold up. Where are we? He says this. What if I'm see I'm seen as a laughing stock? As a blind fool without reason. If Soler was serving the sun, why would he have doubts? But Soler is trying to find his own son. And to me that sounds like... It seems that he's doubting himself. And this will play a big part of his story in the end. <sighs> The end of the story. Wait, hold up. Get everything up. And now we'll be getting on to his weapon. Was a was very strange. You'll see in a minute. The sunlight straight sword. In Dark Souls One, the uh, is a standard. Well, in Dark Souls One, the sunlight straight sword is a standard long sword belonging to Sola himself. The sword is of high quality, is very well forged and has been kept in good repair, but it's a standard, nothing special about it. Funnily enough, in Dark Souls 3, it's imbued with the power of lightning, and then, and that, and um, and that uh, it, it contains the power of the sun. Maybe uh, Soler's soul is somehow trapped or is in the sword. But I just wanted to bring. I just wanted to mention this as it's very interesting how in Dark Souls One the sword is um well the sword is uh, is very standard and that. The in Dark Souls Three, the sword, as it um, well, the the Dark Souls Three one, is a standard sword, but it's imbued of lightning. So maybe his soul is trapped in it somehow. But I don't know. I just wanted to mention this because it's very interesting. Anyway, on to the end. There are two endings to Soler's story. One where he links the fire in his own uh, timeline, or he died in the ruins of Isleth. <sighs> I, I think in Isleth, uh, him dying in Isleth. Would make the most sense because uh, when he uh, links uh, him linking the fire requires the player's intervention out of the player, and if the player ignores him, the same thing happens. The sunlight maggot latches itself on his on Soler's head. Uh, and that's the last we hear of our old uh, of our old friend. He went mad in search of the power. Why would he? Uh, why would finding his very own son appear appease Gwyn or the Firstborn? Because if he uh, does find his, uh, does find a power like that. He would be a uh, rival to them, and then worship. But Soler wants to bring back the glory of the Summer Warriors, not knowing that the Firstborn was still looking down at them. So, we got a, quite a lot of information here. And I believe the one where he dies in Isleth by the 
by the player and where he becomes mad by the sunlight maggot is um it's quite thin for his story than him just kind of winning all the time because if he does die it will seem that his own kind of uh his own uh, search for his own search for power the sun is um well it's you know it'll backfire he'll uh, the power would overwhelm him and him you know and him dying to his uh, own kind of uh, his own power or his own uh, search of power the sun would seem a little you know ironic and i believe he does say in dark souls 1 uh, that he found his own power or something like that i don't have the quote now uh, anyway guys um hope you guys really enjoyed this video this video took a long time to make and uh, the footage in the background was provided by my good friend the Rangaman or Rangaman one of those I'll link his channel in the description he's one of my he's my best mate hope you guys are going to show him some love and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah I will probably carry on the Fallout series uh, next time, or no, I was planning to do a, uh, a, uh, what, is, what are they called, uh, like a one-off kind of thing, another versus video, because I know you guys are like those, my last versus video is my first video I've made, the NCR versus the Brotherhood, so I think it'll be interesting to make another one of those, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see y'all later.